standard output to a file using the command T. Now we have learned how to actually populate a file using the redirect commands like uh, the greater than sign. You echo something, you output to a file using the greater than sign. Now there's another way that you could do the same thing with using the command T. What T command does, T command is used to store and view both at the same time the output of any command. So, in other words, the command is named after the T-splitter used in plumbing. So, you've seen the, the T-splitter, right? So, you put in the water from one side, it comes out from the both sides. So, this T command works pretty much the same way. So, it basically breaks the output of a program so that it can be both displayed on the screen and saved into a file. It does both the task simultaneously, copies the result into a specified files or variable and also displays the result. So if you look at the picture, you'll see um, right here we have a command. So whatever the command you run, you run echo, you run ls, uh, pwd, ch change mod, or whatever the command that you run, right? You put a T in front of it, and then it will not only send the output on the screen, but it will also put it into a specified file, the file that you want it, the output to go to. So that's how the T command works. The reason we want the T command over the greater than sign command, which both do the same thing, is because if you wanted to run a command and you wanted to output to a file you also want it to view while you're running the command you want it to view how or what the output looks like and whatever that goes into the file actually going the right output that you're looking for okay so um, let me go into my Linux machine and I have it right here open let's clear the screen and type who am I and you will see the name or the user account that I've been logged in with. Which directory I'm in, I am in my slash home. I have some directory. Of course, one other thing you should also check is the host name that you logged in. The host name is the correct host name, which is my first VM. These are the few things, of course, you need to check all the time to make sure that you are logged in to the correct system. Now let's get back to our command T. Now let's say if you wanted to echo something on the screen. We, let's say we echo um, David Putty is Elaine's boyfriend. It's, David Putty is just a character in a, in a show Seinfeld and he he was the boyfriend of Elaine Bennis. So it's just a statement that I'm putting in. And when you hit enter, and you will see that same um, echo on the screen. Now we could use the greater than sign to output to a file. So let's say if I wanted to output to a file, Elaine dash David. This is the name of the file, right? I could do that when I hit enter. You'll see it has added this text to a file name Elaine dash David. Now what if I verify it by running the command cat Elaine David and you'll see the file has the correct text that I wanted to have it in the file. Perfect. Now if I replace it the same thing let's clear the screen one more time and run the command one more time and you will see when you run this command with uppercase sorry not uppercase with redirect sign it actually runs it but it doesn't throw anything on the screen but if you replace this with pipe and T then you will not only see the output going into Elaine dash David file the output will also show up on the screen. So hit enter 
and you'll see David Putty is Elaine's boyfriend. So it is going both ways. As I said, that T is like a, a plumber's T that goes both ways. So when you do cat, Elaine, David, David Putty is Elaine's boyfriend. So now don't be confused that, hey, we ran that command earlier and it has that same text message that we ran it with a greater than sign if that's what it's in your mind that's fine let's go ahead and remove Elaine David file so it doesn't exist yes so clear the screen now run the same command by hit, hitting up arrow key all right echo David Putty's Elaine's boyfriend so NT Elaine dash David this is the file hit enter Okay, now do cat David. Sorry, Elaine dash David, and you'll see the file is there. Perfect. Now, what if you wanted to add or append to the same file? Because if you type, let's say, echo. David and Elaine into the same file and hit enter and you'll do cat Elaine David you'll see it removed the the older file and created a new file with the newer output so you want to append it to a file that that older um, text message does not get deleted for that you would have to use a command same command but with minus a so hit up arrow key and go back to the same command that we ran earlier and this time type t-a same thing echo David Putty is Elaine's boyfriend this is just a text pipe it and t it and with the option minus a and the file name same, same file and now go ahead and hit enter now go ahead and do a cat on Elaine David file and you will see it has two lines First line is that we created without minus, minus A option, and second line, we created with minus A option. So that's how you append or add or create a new file. Now, let's try to see how many characters do we have in Elaine and David file. So the command is WC minus C, and you will see it has 52 Elaine David characters. We could also output that out that whatever that came on the screen to another file so I use this command which can be discussed or which I will cover later on of course this command actually count every word in the file called Elaine dash David and it will output on the screen you could actually redirect that output using a T command to another file as well now, let's say if you want to do ls minus l and you see that listing, entire listing of your directory. So let's say if you want to have all that with the T, meaning I want to view it and at the same time I want to put it to a file. So I'll put it as, I'll name it list dir and hit enter and you will see the entire listing from here till bottom and you'll also see your file list dir if you do cat list dir and hit enter and you'll see the same listing so let's clear the screen and now hit up arrow key to cat list dir file again and you will see that ls minus l output so basically it's outputting on the screen and it is outputting to a file if you wanted to do the same thing let's say echo minus L and you could also output to multiple files meaning LS minus L T to let's say file 1 file 2 file 3 and hit enter you see it actually ran and it has all the listing of all three files as well and when I do cat file 1 it has the same content cat file 2 it has the same content and so on the cat file 3 
same ls minus l output so this is how um, the t command works if you wanted to get more help or more options on the t command you simply type t dash dash help and you'll see it will tell you exactly the options that are that is being offered by the help command C minus A is to append, minus I is to ignore, and version and help. So if you type um, T dash dash version to see the version of this command, you will also see that this command version is 8.22. And it tells you this is a free software. You are free to change and redistribute it. There is no warranty to extend the permitted by law and so and so on. Written by Mike Parker, Richard M. Stallman, and David McKenzie. So these are the people who actually built this command. Again, since Linux is an open source, you could even create your own command, write your own code, and introduce it to the Linux world. So that's how the T command works. Um, I hope you understand. If you have any questions, you could just shoot me an email and um, try it out. Try it with different options, couple of options, and I'm sure it will work just fine.